Hello, hello, good people. So the other day I did a reel and on the reels, it talked about some of the new features that I saw in Canva. And so a lot of you guys responded saying that you saw it and it was awesome. So I, and then there were some people who said that they needed to get into Canva, right? So I figured for this uh, Friday, for today's Freedom Friday, I would do a quick little overview of a, a couple of the new features that I saw and play around with it a little bit so you guys can see. So let's get into it. So I do, disclaimer, I do have the Canva um, Pro. So I'm not certain that all the features that I'll be going into will work in the free version. So I did want to put that disclaimer out there because I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, let's see. Over here on your left hand side, you may have seen this new content planner over here. Um, and that, I, I saw it, I was working and I saw it, I was like, what's that? I'll check it out later. But then when I clicked into it, I was like, oh, this is gonna be dope. So we're just gonna click into content planner and see what it does. So it's important, I know that I'm saying it's important, but I still need to get to this level too as well. I still need to get to the point where I am pre-planning everything because I have so many new pieces in my day that it's, it's important for me to pre-plan. I may plan a couple days, a couple weeks, but for me to have my whole month planned out, I'm still a work in progress, y'all. Don't judge me. So let's go ahead and click on what we see. So we see the calendar on here. This is today's day. I'm just gonna click on the plus button that will appear. And you have the option to create a design or choose a design. So for this one, I'm just gonna click choose a design just for the um, sake of doing this one. So I'm gonna click on launch graphics. Let's see what happens when I do that. Boom, boom. Um, I don't want that one. Oh, I want this one. So I'm gonna click on this and it's gonna say, okay, so wait, let's go back. Let's go back. Okay, so it brings up whatever it is that you want to launch, right? So I've chose something that I did already and it has the date right here. What happens when you click on these three dots? Okay, if you click on the three dots, you can change the date and time, edit the design or make a copy. That is awesome because you might have something that you did and you're like, wait, I have to fix something or I meant to add this or whatnot. And you could edit the design. So that's pretty cool. Or you can make a copy. So that's dope. Um, then the next section, it says it's a schedule two. And then because this is a multiple page uh, document that it asks how many pages. So I'm going to select the wait. I don't remember what page. Let's see. This was the first page. It's the second page. <laughs> so I'm going to pick pages two and pages three because I want both of those pages. We'll make sure pages two and pages three. Yeah, we're going to do pages two and pages three. Then we can um, put in a caption. I'm probably going to change it later. I'm probably going to add some stuff to it later, but I want to see what it was going to look like. So it says to schedule two. I wonder if you can do multiple. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm not liking it. I 
typically post to Instagram. Why is it not? Why? Why is Instagram not one of the things here? Okay, that's probably the first thing I don't like so far. Why is Instagram not on here? So I'm just gonna do Facebook. If I can remember my login. <laughs> oh, it popping in here. Thank God. How many of y'all do that too? Like, I don't, I don't remember my, my logins, which is why I just um, started using LastPass and it has been a saver. Okay. So I picked the page I wanted to go to. Done. Done. Okay. Now I am linked. Okay. All right. What happens now? Publisher does not design straight to Facebook pages. Okay. Okay. What happens if I go back? Schedule two. Um. Yeah. I may have to pick that Instagram is on. So yeah. That sucks. Okay. So I have connected the page that I wanted to connect to the two images that I want. I put in my um, caption that I want and I hit schedule post. But I wanted to post before the end. So let's do change date and time. So I wanted to do it in just a minute. In a minute. I'm gonna do 17. Done. 10, 17 schedule post. And let's see how it do at 10, 17, which is in two minutes. Man, I'm mad that they don't have face. I mean, Instagram on here. That's the only reason I would use it. So let's do one where we're gonna choose that we're gonna create a design. So let's do, even though they don't have it, I'm still gonna do it. No, let's kill two birds with one stone. So you see now that they have Instagram Reels videos in here. So let's do that. Kill two birds with one stone. You guys get to see the reels. Um, and you get to see how it looks when you are creating a new design. So let's select that. Awesome. And again, as a disclaimer, I don't know what this looks like when it's not the pro version because this is the pro version. So um, I don't know if they give me more options or I have access to more options. Than that. But, but. So they have it broken out into different categories as they typically would. Um, so Indian Independence Day um, must be coming up or is has come up or whatever. And so what? Not so what? And so forth. <laughs> and so they were on top of that and they created um, some reels for that, which is dope. Um, that they were on top of what's going on in the world. Next, they have background videos. Um, which is pretty cool. I like that one. I love animation and stuff like that. So these are pretty cool. Oh, that's cool. So yeah, I like this. I like this. Oh, you guys look at this one. So you can do um, different reels to give tips. I definitely like to do the reel so far to do, of course, the funny videos that we were doing on TikTok, but also to provide value um, to my audience. So this is a good template to use for that. Um, let's see, Instagram Reels video in frame. So this is where you would be like, you know, subscribe to my page or follow me here. So you can like completely build out that 15 seconds of Reels right here in Yama, which is so, so dope. So let's see, let us see. So I wanna see all of the background videos and see what they have. These are pretty cute, these are cute. Okay, so I like this one. Tip number one, engage with followers. And you can change this up however you wanna change it. So let's duplicate it maybe and do a tip number two. Tip number two and a tip number three. And of course we can change the background. Oh wait, I did that wrong. Copy. <laughs> and tip number three. 
And let's see about switching out this video. So I'm just gonna click on that background and delete it. And I'm gonna add a new video. Let's see what videos they have in here. And I'm just gonna click on the business ones because Um, I don't know y'all. I'm just gonna pick one. I'm just gonna pick one. And see what it does. Or whatever. Whatever. Whatever's whatever. No. Come on. Drag that on down. Move this on over. Whatever that is. Now I'm gonna change the position to move it back because I wanna be able to have that right there. Alright, so now it's like, okay, I have my three tips. Now, let me go to my end frame. How many minutes we got already? We got 13.6 seconds. So we got an opportunity to add one more five second thing in here. Let's see all of the end reels. These are cute. These are pretty cute. Let's do this one. I just like the colors in here. I don't want that, so I'm gonna hit ungroup so I can take her video out. And I'm just gonna put a photo in here. Mm, 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 mm. I'm just gonna drop my client in here right quick. Okay. So you put follow me, you put pictures to the video, you can customize whatever this says. And now we have our whole little thing. And it's a little long because it says 39 seconds, but but we can edit it, we can always reduce it or whatnot, whatever we need to do. So as a matter of fact, let's delete one of these tips. That brings it down to 25. I'm gonna delete this one too. Okay, there we go. We got our 15. <laughs> <laughs> we got our 15 seconds. And so it says schedule right here. So I'm hit schedule. Um, I can put the date. So it customize the date right here. But again, we know that we can change the date and the time. We can select the destination. Because I selected this one the last time, it's already there. But if I wanted to add something different like Pinterest, I can connect to my Pinterest account. Let's see if they got Pinterest in here too. Because I don't know that I know my Pinterest password. I don't know. Don't judge me. Oh, it did give access. So dope when I can remember your passwords because I forget them all the time. So let's just say I want to add this to my printer score. So many, so many things on here. Who uses Pinterest, y'all? Let me know. Comment on this video. Do y'all use Pinterest? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There we go. Um, so I want to uh, add it to that board. Then I'll get the title. You selected more pages on this platform. Accessibly select. Um. Oh, Pinterest don't let you do multiple board, uh, multiple pages. I don't like that. Okay, so that's done. We put our caption in and schedule the post. It seems fairly easy, right, y'all? Like, how do you guys like it? Let me know in the comments if this is something that you can foresee yourself using. I absolutely feel like I will use the reels, and not even just for reels. I will probably use this just to put in my Instagram stories and not necessarily make it a reel. So, I think that I like it. I think I like it. Um, the content planner, I have some concerns. Um, maybe I would use this because I'm not as active on my Facebook page. So perhaps I would use this to become more active on my um, Facebook page. But I'm really an Instagram girl. That's where most of my clients come from. So that's where I would want the most um, function to be. But Instagram was not in the drop down. If you guys have Instagram on yours, let me know in the comments too. Because I did not see Instagram. Instagram on my um, but that's your freedom Friday you can always make a uh, follow us on Instagram make sure you subscribe to the series um, so you can get these freedom Friday tips and I will see you on next Friday have a great one y'all